I'm Michael Young and you're watching Tribe Time. I'm Lily and I'm Bella. And we're asking washes what their favorite spring activity is. Let's check it out. Fishing and riding my dirt bike. Picking flowers. Hanging out with my friends. Exercising. Going to the dog park. Gardening. Baseball. Hanging out with friends. Track and field. Hopscotch. Going golf. Dancing. Golfing. Riding my moped. Hey washes, April 14th was National Gardening Day, so we quizzed some washes peeps on some gardening facts. Let's take a look what April 14th is. The ghetto garden. No. The <laughs> not of The of the following is not a benefit of using words. A, to keep the soil cool. B, to prevent the weeds. And C, to try out wet soil. Keep soil cold. <laughs> Which of the following is not a benefit of using mulch? A, to keep the soil cool. Okay. B, to prevent weeds. And C, to dry out wet soil. Okay. B, now dry out wet soil. <laughs> Wilson's Wonder is a kind of witch nut tree. A, walnut. B, hazelnut. Oh, and C, walnut. chestnut. <laughs> 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 no? It's uh, walnut. Oh, okay. Which of the following is not a winter veggie? A. Tomato. B. Oh, it's tomato. Tomato. It's tomato. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know my plants and animals. Which of the following is not a winter veggie? Oh, yeah. A. A tomato. B. A parsnip. And C. A leek. I'm going to go with A. Tomato. That's correct. This is Pennsylvania's national flower. Oh, the Mount Laurel. That's correct. Let's go. Mrs. McLeaf, what is the importance of not parking at Wendy's, Starbucks, all of those places? The importance of not parking over at the shopping center or CVS is um, the fact that it is private property. It's businesses um, that are over there at those shopping centers and we need to be respectful of that. Um, every year around this time of the year in the spring, we do get calls from the property managers as well as the manager over at CVS just asking us respectfully to please remember that it is private property and when our students park there that's actually taking away from spaces for their paying customers So applying for a parking pass, um, so we're gonna go ahead and advance to this coming school year, the 23-24 school year, since we're so close to the end of this year. Um, please, please, juniors and seniors, make sure you're paying close attention to your emails over the summer, as well as any borough blasts that Dr. McCallum's sending out to you and your families. We actually do have um, designated time set up already for the beginning of August. I believe it's August, um, 8th, 9th, and 10th, but don't quote me on that. It's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that we're going to be selling parking passes. However, you do have to secure an appointment. So it's very important when you get that information from Dr. McCallum that you make your appointment and then you show up for your appointment with all of the information that is required and your money. And that way you can secure a parking permit for this upcoming school year. a Tribe Time Guess Who, and this is our first contestant, Tribe Time member. Can't leave a lot of her. Okay, our first description is short, sarcastic, and outgoing. Who do you think it is? Uh, Nick? <laughs> Sierra. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, I got that one. Who is from Be Real? Who has a firm and Suffer. Jake. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is loud, kind, and energetic? Marley. Uh, what? Nora. 
Oh, this person is described as Uggs, takes a lot of naps, and says facts a lot. Um, I feel like it's a lady. <laughs> it's just a lady. Who does sports, has brown hair, and is quiet? Nick Sanders. Nope. Okay, your words are enthusiastic, passionate, and is a runner. Okay, it's a good thing I got the class list. Okay, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Nora. Close. Okay. Close. Close? Very close. Yes, fortune, huh? <laughs> like, DNA close. <laughs> Me? <laughs> the 2023 NBA playoffs have started, and so far they've been nothing short of spectacular. In the Eastern Conference, the one-seeded Milwaukee Bucks, who are heavy favorites, are currently down 3-1 to to the eight-seeded Miami Heat. The two-seeded Boston Celtics are up 3-2 to against the Atlanta Hawks, another series that has been way closer than many people imagined it would be. No surprise here, the Philadelphia 76ers have swept the Brooklyn Nets in four games, led by likely MVP Joel Embiid. And meanwhile, in Cleveland, the heavily favored Cavaliers are down 3-1 to one against the Knicks, and their offensive struggles have shown out this series. The Nuggets and Wolves series was pretty boring with the games only mainly being blowouts and the series ending 4-1. to one. The Lakers and Grizzlies series has been absolutely amazing with lots of trash talk and not back, being able to back it up. The Lakers have taken the series 3-1 so far against the Grizzlies. The Kings and Warriors series has also been absolutely spectacular because the games have been close and there's been a lot of offense. The Suns and Clippers series was an epic battle between two former teammates, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, with Kevin Durant ultimately getting the last laugh as the Suns take the series 4-1. I think, now, my unbiased opinion, I believe that um, the Miami Heat are going to the finals and winning it in foe. Come on, now. LA Lakers, go Austin Reeves. Thanks for making Tribe Time your time.